This is a basic video showing how we subtract in school. The first method is called the column method and is very similar to the way we do addition. There is one glaring mistake our students do make however. First of all I'll show you how it's done and then I'll show you where the mistake is. This is what our students do wrong. They look at this and they say 4 take away 7 is 3 and then they do 8 take away 2 is 6 and they get the answer 63. But if you were to type this into a calculator you'd find the answer is certainly not 63. The mistake has been made at this part here. 4 take away 7 is not 3, it's minus 3. The column method does not want to use negative numbers at all, we want to steer well away from them. So what should be done is that you should be writing 84 take away 27. And the expression that I was taught in school was that you borrow one or you steal one, some of our students call, from the tens column here. So you cross that number out, so reduce it by one, and then take one of the tens and bring it over here. So that number now, instead of being 84 like it was originally, is now 70 and 14, which does make the 84 that we're using from there. Now we do 14 take away 7, which is 7, and then 7 take away 2, which is 5. And that should have been the answer that your calculator gave you when you put this in. The next method is called the jumping method. And it's very, very similar to stuff that we've already seen. You partition the number that you're subtracting, this 27. We'd partition it to 20 and 7 and we'd take it away in those steps. So we could take away the 20 first. So you just take away 2 from the 10s to give an answer of 64. And then you would take away the 7. Taking away the 7 from that gives 57. You can do this in another manner where you do more or less exactly the same thing, but you take a little bit longer when you're doing your 64 take away 7. So if I scroll down to here, again you would take away 20 here to get 64, but then you would take away 4 because it takes it down to a nice number there to 60, and you have to make this minus 4 here and the minus 20 that we did, make a total of minus 27. So then we need to take away another 3 from there to get 57. The other way I can complete the jumping method is by writing uh, my number 274 by here and thinking, well, how would I get to this end number here, this 618? Well, the way I get there is get to the next hundreds, and then I'd want to get to the next hundreds by the 618, and then thinking, what do I get from there to there? So, first of all, what have I added to 274 to make it up to 300? Well, I've added 26. The next question is, what have I added to 300 to make it to 600? Which is adding 300. And then finally, what have I done to 600 to add, make it add to 618? Well, I've added 18. So basically I'm saying that I've got 26, 318 added all together. So what I need to do now is I need to add all of those numbers up. So adding those together, I get 300 and 26 and 18. And I've made sure that I've kept things in the right columns, units, tens, hundreds. I'm now adding those, adding everything in this column, I get the answer 14. So I'm carrying 1 into that column then adding everything in this column including this one here I have 4 and then finally in the last column 3 and there's nothing else to add to it, it remains as 3 so my answer to 618 take away 274 is 344